I have a very interesting clip that I thought some of you might like to see. It's all about the operation and the user interface of the police robot dog named Spot. In action, there was a lunatic in Los Angeles, California with weapons who was threatening people. So the police were called and the police showed amazing restraint, which is not uncommon and is actually quite commonplace, regardless of what people and the media say. The police could have rightfully and lawfully lit this dude up and sent him away in a body bag. Now the robot dog Spot will be deployed in just a moment and I'll let you know what's happening there. Right here we see footage of him through a security camera crouched in a corner after being hit with bean bags. So the cops were shooting bean bags at him and non-lethal projectiles to subdue him. Now we see the officer coming that's controlling Spot. And here's Spot starting to walk up to the scene. And there's the guy in the corner there. He's all kind of hunched over. Now you'll see past this garbage can, you'll see the guy hunched over in the corner in the chair. And look at this cool interface that Spot has. The officer controlling him. And they're also able to speak through Spot to the suspect. Now you can see there's two weapons on the ground. One is a replica rifle, I believe. And the other is some kind of either stun gun or lighter or some other weapon that he's trying to scare people with. Now you can see Spot is targeting the rifle. You see all the grip commands and grasp, grasp commands. It says grasp planning failed. Now they're going to reconfirm the grasping. And Spot's walking over to the rifle and in a moment he's going to grasp it with a robot arm and pick it up and walk it away clearing the scene now at this point the police have no idea that that's a replica rifle because it looks so real Look at that awesome interface. So that's the police operator manipulating the dog to get it just at the right position and angle to grasp the weapon and eventually walk away with it. Now these police showed amazing restraint dealing with this individual. Auto grasp. Look how cool that interface is. Now we see up in the right top corner there's a 3D model of the robot dog walking towards police with the rifle that it grasped. That is really cool. Now it's going to drop it near police. This is a really good way to keep law enforcement safe during tense situations and especially situations where they want to subdue or remove weapons and items from a scene before the scene is cleared and safe. So now they're going to go for the little pistol looking thing, which is also not really a pistol, but it looked enough like a pistol to make people on the street that he was threatening and the officers believe that it was a pistol. Now this one, Spot has a little bit of trouble picking up at first but then they eventually get it. And the little robot dog walks off with it. 
I just think it's a really interesting interface they're using. And the remote control. And the officer is saying, you feeling a little sleepy? You little sleepy buddy? These cops are so nice. Now the officer is talking about Spot wasn't able to grasp it that time, so it's going to try again. A line gripper plus with grasp target. It even shows the, where the ground level is on the left and the angle of the arm in relation to the ground and the item. Now they're talking about how it looks like a lighter. The police are talking about how it looks like a lighter. And I'll put a link in the description for this original video, it's from Police Activity Channel. And I'll put a link so you can see the full video if you want to watch the complete video without me talking and all that crap. And finally, Spot's done with his work and the police move in to apprehend the lunatic.